Happy Sunday, fam. So today is going to be a voiceover commentary video. It is Sister Wives Sunday, and it's time for episode four. If you guys are subscribed to Discovery Plus, it is already loaded there, but don't worry if you haven't watched the new episode yet. This is not a spoiler video. Today, I want to talk about how Janelle's kids seem to be firmly Team Christine and how Gwen seems to be itching to spill the tea. Let's discuss. Well, it was a very active social media Saturday for the Brown family. Ahead of the fourth episode of season 17, Christine posted a photo with most of Janelle's kids and Miss Gwendolyn teased that she is thinking of starting a YouTube channel. Let's first start off with our Queen Christine's post. Here she is with Savannah, Hunter, Gabriel, and Garrison. And may I just say... Divorcing Cody as a husband and father looks really good on everyone. Christine is radiant. The kids look too blessed to be stressed. Life is good. It actually reminded me of the teaser we saw put out for episode four, where Robin wonders if Christine has really thought things through. Are you guys what? sure? I mean, like, like that's what's so weird. It's like, are you guys sure? Mm-hmm. Like, you're sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I've been through a divorce. I know what this means. We're talking about 18 kids, spouses, grandbabies, and five of us that are all connected and committed to each other and technically married. Do do you even understand what you're saying? I'm looking at Christine going like, are you sure? Do you know what this means? Because I do. This divorce, Christine leaving Cody, is so much bigger than just Christine and Cody. And Robin wonders if Christine has considered the 18 kids. And I think it's pretty obvious that, yeah, she has. You know, usually I think that when parents separate and they announce their separation to the children, that it should be something that is done together. Sort of put up one last united front, if that is at all possible, just so the kids don't get one side over the other. Keep it as fair as possible. But that's not always possible. And these kids are grown for the most part. And they see Cody for who he really is now. And remember, in Christine's world, when a woman leaves polygamy, she's out. She's out of the family's life, even her own biological kids. This is what happened to her own mother. So I get why she quietly reached out to the older kids to get their temperature on things. And you know what? Everyone supported her 100%. So yesterday, after she posted this photo with four of Janelle's kids, Hunter and Gabriel actually reposted it, showing their support of her. And we know Garrison has already called out his dad and told him that he was done with him. So it's looking like Janelle's kids view Christine as once a mom, always a mom. And not only is that heartwarming, I think once Christine had the blessings of of all the kids, she started getting really excited about leaving Cody. Now she is absolutely giddy. She has the ick so bad and she cannot wait to leave Flagstaff. So going back to Robin's concerns, yeah, Christine has thought about the whole picture. The kids were obviously her top priority and she is prepared to see Cody just as much as she sees him now, which is basically never. Actually, Robin making a comment like this, questioning Christine's decision-making abilities, shows just how out of touch she is with the rest of the family and how she doesn't look at the big picture or take the entire 18 kids into consideration. Maybe if she did, she would give a shit about Cody never seeing any of his other kids, 
Or maybe she would have called him out for calling visiting Isabel inconvenient and not calling Isabel's decision to return to in-person school stupid. So Christine is getting lots of family love and support, and we love to see it. Now, let's move on to my girl, Ms. Gwendolyn. A few of you guys actually sent me this. When I saw her IG story, I was like, yes, please. This is what she posted. So she posted the marketing photo for season 17 of Sister Wives, which is her dad and all of her moms. And she put this quote, saw a few clips from the most recent episode and I'm obsessed. I'm thinking I'm going to make a YouTube where I literally just react to the episodes. Then she put up a poll asking people if she should do it. And basically everyone said, heck yeah. We are waiting with bated breath for one of the kids to write a book and spill the tea. We get little tidbits from Peyton on TikTok. But we would love to see Gwen do reaction content on YouTube. That would be amazing. Personally, I would really love for her to show receipts like here is a picture from the one day last year my dad went hiking with us. So it would actually bolster Christine, Janelle's and Mary's assertions that Cody is never around. I will say I watched episode four and not putting out any spoilers, but it went by so fast. I usually watch 90 Day Fiance and Sister Wives on Sunday mornings before my household gets going. And this episode of Sister Wives legitimately felt like 15 or 20 minutes. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And tomorrow, make sure you come hang out with me at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are going to do a live recap and review of episode four. This will be our third live stream. It's going really well so far, you guys. People are having fun. I am having a great time And I cannot wait to see you guys in the chat. So come hang out. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.